We are in Galliana, Louisiana, and it's the next town you come across on your trip down to Cajun Bayou, and it can arguably be called the heart of DTB. With the central location among the Down to Bayou communities, Galliana hosts a number of businesses from healthcare services to shopping, automotive repair, and restaurants. In similar fashion to Côte Blanche, Galliana was once known as Côte Cherami, our friendly coast, until the 1900s. The Cherami family had been living in the area since at least the 1830s, with most of them being buried here at the Cherami Cemetery in Galliano. The area was given the name of Galliano by the postmaster, Alzec Otan, who chose the name in honor of an original settler in the area. Salvador Galliano settled in the vicinity in the late 1700s and had a large farm and a citrus tree orchard. He came from Naples, Italy, where he was in the services of the King of Spain. The Spanish were in control of the area and it was known as the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. This leads most people to assume he was of Spanish descent when in actuality he was Italian and Galliano was spelled with only one L. The area having much more Spanish and French residents, the second L was later adopted. Eventually, there were enough settlers to request a chapel to be built for the community and in 1887 a palmetto church was constructed and dedicated to St. Jacob. Unfortunately, not long after, it was destroyed in the 1893 Chenier Caminata hurricane. So in 1902, another chapel was built, this time dedicated to St. Joseph, and it still stands right next to me today, right next to the Galliana pontoon bridge behind me. Many locations in Galliana hold historical significance but can easily be overlooked. The Centroplex once hosted concerts, world famous wrestling events, and much more. Now, of course, down to Baia is never short on fantastical stories, including the origins of Galliano. An old legend says that a man named Antoine Galliano was appointed to the Spanish King's Guard. He fell in love with a Spanish woman of noble birth. Just lovely, except for the fact that Antoine was already married to a woman named Julia. Julia was also closely related to the King of Spain, so because he was such a macro, Google that, the Spanish king sent him and Julia to settle this area of Baia Lafouche, and their descendants still live in the area today. So anyone with the last name of Galliano that lives here, you might be of royal blood. Just let me be in your court, that's all I ask. In 1909, Salvador's brother, Julian Galliano, held classes in the attic of his store, but it wasn't until 1916 that Galliano had their first public school. An important event would happen in 1966 when Golden Meadow and La Rose Cutoff High Schools merged to form South Lafouche High School. Both former high schools would become junior high and then currently middle schools by 2002. Black students attended Cordelia Matthews Washington School in Thibodeau during segregation. After racial segregation was over, black students in the DTB region would attend South Lafouche. With many notable alumni like the Cajun Cannon Bobby Hebert and former coach Ed Ogeron, Salafouche continues a program of excellence in sports and academics. The school motto is Tant que je peux, which means all that I can, and it rings true to this day with the community giving all that they can when disaster strikes. These communities that make up the Salt Lafouche and Grand Isle regions are unique and iconically a mixture of Cajun and Creole. Hard work, unrelenting resilience, and an intense sense of family run through the veins of the locals here. Venture out to Sat Lafouche on your next Louisiana road trip. Stop into the small businesses and grab a bite to eat or admire the trawl boats on the banks of the bayou. Grab some fresh shrimp, oysters, and crabs from the local fishermen. You cannot get fresher than that. For more history, horror, folklore, and culture, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on TikTok. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread.